Where the Carcass Is, a novel by Teresa Johnson. Atonement with leading. His countless donations to rehabilitation centers, women's shelters, foster care programs, adoption centers, and fund creations for victims of fires weren't enough to mend the gaping wound in his soul. The hovering of impending doom always returned. He wasn't religious in that he didn't go to church regularly, but he remembered his grandmother's words, always maintain a personal relationship with God through his gift of salvation, his only begotten son, Jesus, and you'll always be okay. She quoted verses from the Bible like it was her first language. He heard her like she said it yesterday. God's words are written on the table of my heart and it alone rescued me from messes I pray you never know. A passage he'd never forget and that she made him memorize because she said long after she was gone he'd need to remember it. First Chronicles 21 13 and David said unto Gad I am in a great strait let me fall now into the hand of the Lord, for very great are his mercies, but let me not fall into the hand of man. He refused to let his guilt get the better of him. It was the code of the street. Keep your mouth shut, especially in this case. The sing-song raspy voice played in his mind like it was yesterday. Just one more hit. I'll tell you what you want to know. He remembered giving her another and then another for bits and pieces of nothing conclusive. She was so high, she laughed in his face, taunting him. The raggedly, drug-abused, middle-aged woman swore she didn't know anything about his birth parents, again referring to him as Awok. His patients were thin. Lex appeared like an apparition, seemingly from nowhere, using a taser to shut her up and then tying her tighter to the chair. When she came to, she offered her son for another hit. Thank you for listening to an excerpt of Where the Carcass Is by Teresa Johnson.